Hey guys, um, in today's video um, I'm going to be making a new plenum plate for the Dodge 318 Magnum series uh, intake. Um, they use stock um, thin stamp steel bolted to an aluminum intake and they have gasket issues. That one blew there. Um, truck runs really, really bad at idle. Uh, does not accelerate nice at all. And it consumes a lot of oil. Um, so I'll show you guys how to test for that specific thing. And um, yeah, but that'll be in a different video. Uh, in this video, I've got my piece of aluminum replacement. It's roughly quarter inch thick. Um, I've traced out and center punched all the holes for the bolts. We just got to cut it out and then glue it on. And then I can throw this intake in my truck, uh, pull the intake out of my truck. Well, this is out of my parts truck, so I'll swap them and build another one of these. And then I've got a backup intake for whatever reason. Um, anyways, let's get started. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is basically just cut just outside the line. I can use my belt grinder to clean it all up. And then uh, I might do a surface pass just to make sure there's no dings or dents where it's going to seal. And then um, drill the holes and bolt her on. So safety first, got my ear protectors and glasses. Yeah, and yeah. So let's, let's do this. And I apologize ahead of time for the state of the shop. It is chaotic to say the least. a lot with aluminum. I don't really know the best way to cut aluminum. Um, it was not cutting very fast with the sawzall. Um, that's where I cut that piece out. And I used my plasma cutter to uh, get the, the rough um, chunk cut. And then I trimmed it up with the, the sawzall. But the angle grinder seems to be doing the best. It's just really hard on blades. Um, but it seems to be doing the best job. We'll continue using that. general shape cut out now we just got a little bit of uh, fine-tuning to do around the holes uh, I don't necessarily have to dip in this part is important sorry this part is important up here because that is where the distributor sits so there has to be clearance up there um, but everywhere else doesn't look like it would hit um, so let's drill some holes or we'll clean it up and then we'll drill some things. Not bad. Oh, got my piece all nicely ground down. It's a tiny bit rough around some of the corners, but it's it's purely cosmetic. It has nothing to do with the performance of this piece. Um, so now I've got to drill all the holes and then I'm gonna probably do a really, really light pass just over over this section here to to smooth it up because nicks like that might might pose a problem and this corrosion is not going to help any um, but you'll notice I got a new belt on that one just exploded and uh, when it exploded luckily it didn't freaking get me in the face but yeah you can see it freaking got me right in the chest so safety first I was wearing my glasses um, so if it did blow up and hit me in the face, at least I wouldn't lose an eye. I've been close before. You guys will see that there. <laughs> yeah, so safety first. But anyways, um, now I'm going to drill the holes and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll do a surface cleanup on it. Um, I gotta see if 
but I've got files. Maybe I'll uh, I'll run a file over it just because it's it's flat. Um, as long as I keep the file flat, it should work pretty pretty all right. So, um, anyways, let's uh, let's keep moving. All right, so I got my little I think it's an eighth inch bit. I'm just going to drill pilot holes, and then I'm going to have to get my bolts uh, from the shop because I don't think I think this bit might be a little bit too big. Actually, I'll check this. Against the stock one. Nope, that'll that'll work. That's perfect. Okay, yeah, I'll get this all drilled. And then uh, run to the shop, grab my bolts, and then come back, glue this thing onto there, and we might get an install done tonight. That'd be freaking awesome. I can't wait to drive this truck. So safety first. <laughs> Oh, fine. Where can did I unplug you? Sure did. Okie dokie. Okay, now we've got our pretty much finished prototype. That's awesome. And it really wasn't that hard to make. The underside's really beat up, that's why I'm favoring this side. I'm going to be gluing this side onto um, yonder manifold, I hope. Uh, nope, I'm not. That's freaking hilarious. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, I, uh, I guess I marked the wrong sign, but we'll work with it. It's all about adapting and moving forward. Okay, so when I laid this pan on top of my aluminum, um, I should have had it upside down because this bolts on like that. So I'm going to have to clean up this bottom side. Uh, oh well. Got a little bit more work to do, <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right. Next time I uh, I'll pay more attention and mark proper sides. So that'll learn you. Well, guys, we got her built. Um, I ran to the shop, grabbed my bolts, and uh, forgot to turn you get. I'll just stop there. Um, I forgot to press the record button. So uh, we did get it all bolted on and uh, all the holes lined up really good. There was one or two on one end that weren't quite perfect, but all the other ones, like they threaded in, um, all these ones threaded in really nice. And I can't remember if it was one or two on which end. Um, they did thread in, but it was, it was a little tough. So I got my hole just a hair off, but um, done to save myself like $160 so awesome 
So now I'll show you guys um, how to diagnose this issue and uh, you guys already already know how to build your own. It's not hard. That's awesome. So now we'll let uh, this cure overnight and uh, I think I'm gonna hit up that Dodge tomorrow. Um, oh, if I can get gaskets. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I should have had some gaskets ordered up already. But um, anyways, uh, I guess maybe Monday night. I'll grab some gaskets after work and uh, maybe we'll get it stabbed in then. So yeah, I just need the two, uh, two gaskets on the front. I think there's a little, I don't know if they use silicone. They might use silicone, but uh, yeah, I definitely, I need the two gaskets for the side. But other than that, we're uh, pretty much ready to rock after this stuff cures. So, and it's almost, almost there now, so. Awesome. Well, if you guys liked what you've seen in this video, hit the like button, uh, leave a thumbs up, and um, subscribe for more. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright, take care guys.